yes, you yes, should yes. not have got very positive when it comes to Baba Imadi. Eh? Baba Imadi to use to try now. Nah. <laughs> I can't with you. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I mean, I think she needs to say what she wants to She can say what she wants to say. But for me, my, my opinion on this is that it's, I think it's just semantics and like language, right? Mm. If you own the word like, like bitch, for example, it depends on how you say it. You know, you can use it as a derogatory thing. I can use it as a, like, you know, I stand for myself and all of that. So I think that's how I see baby mm. mama. Like, I can call myself that and it's it's a positive thing. Like, mm. I have a very good relationship with the person I have a baby with. Or it could just be that that's all I am. I'm like a baby mama. It's a condescending tone. So I think it's really how you see it. But I think everybody understands where she's coming from. And then from, I also is, think that it's also allowed for women to decide what they want. Now, I've met a girl who actually told me, she told me to my face that, look, I don't mind getting pregnant for you, right? But I just want the child. Mm. I'm not going to be in a relationship and all that. And I said, me, I know do. Go find what we'll do. Do you understand? So yeah. the ladies are actually looking for that. Exactly. Okay, so let's move on to another interesting one. A Nollywood actress, Jemima Osunde, has said that a spouse should come first in a person's life. Taken to her Twitter page, the um, physiotherapist turned movie star weighed in on the trending topic of who should be considered as a man's real family, his wife and children, or his mother and siblings. In her words, no one is asking you to betray your parents or siblings. All we are saying is when it comes down to it, your significant other is your primary family. That's your person, especially in a case as this where the said parents and sibling are clearly wrong. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting yeah, one. Yeah, very interesting. And I wish Qu um, Quincy was on this table. Yes, and very big shout out to, um, yes, because he was of the your opinion. Yeah. Yeah, and um, big shout out to the parents that actually, you know, instill in you that, look, the moment you get married, forget me. Mm. Your wife, your kids are your primary. I know my mom says that to me. Like, she forget said, completely? Tell, yeah, like, no, 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 of course, you yeah. can never forget them completely. Mm. But they'll say, the book of time by so is not for you. Mm. Do you understand? All the things we are telling you is not, is not, is not for me. It's actually for your immediate family because they will come first. She will tell me that before you give me a hundred thousand, you would have given your immediate family a million naira. Do you understand? Those are parents that actually understand and which, and I think they understand more because they see the sacrifices that he entails to raise a family, I mean, especially also, in their days. I mean, does it also just make sense? like you leave the family that you're under and they so decide and to make another family. one so if so you want to make if, another one why won't you just be responsible if it is just family you want that. why don't you just stay in that you know, that's one what i'm trying to say like it's not that deep it's just um, it's just commonsensical but and i, I like think. to have follow-up tweet where she was like is it that people are just deliberately trying to not understand her or you want to just treat your wife like crap i think there's a lot of conversations that need to be ha had around how we view our spouses and I guess because of this conversation around Megan and and um, and Harry, and Harry yeah. it's more about the man protecting the woman but there's also conversations around the woman also protecting the her man. husband from mm. the family I think each couple needs to do that mm. like you have to have there cannot be too much over familiarity in my opinion like there's some things that they shouldn't even have to say to my husband I should be they want to be able to liaise that that conflict or protect my husband from certain things and all of that. So I, I don't know why that is rocket science, to be very honest. Um, well, I agree to everything that she said. And if you don't agree, you can let us know sure. on the numbers that sure. should be cutting across sure. the screen or on social media. But I remember I mentioned at the beginning of the conversation that we did have amazing talents to talk to. So um, we'll go on a quick music break. But when we come back, we have a very special guest in the building. And if you want to know who, stay tuned. Cheers! Money where we got yo, you know go finish your family. Yeah, be star boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're gonna go to the baby. Is it a water? Oh, oh she overload. She overload. Yes, my smart. Oh, 
steady on this logo. Baby, don't tell me, got you got me. Shawty, I know you like to party. I'm a touch up on you. Show my body, shit. Yeah, yeah, baby, come on, God. You know, say no party. Yeah. I'm gonna make you happy. Make you happy. Up in my Maserati. Make you love in my Maserati. I say up in my Maserati. Up in my Maserati. Girl, I wanna see you go down. Yeah. Say me, I love the way you play, buddy. Up in my Maserati. Hello and welcome back to Tea Time. Hop back into Tea Time show. Um, remember I mentioned before we went on a music break that we do have a very special talented guest in the building. One of them is here. Well, actually, we have two, so one of them is here. And that is Candy Blake. It's good, yo. Also, no, let me just give a quick introduction of who she is because she needs one, okay? She's not a, she's not a small girl. Mm -hmm. Also known by um, a string of monikers such as Lady Dragon, Dragon Queen, Queen of the Streets, Candy Blix is the foremost female rapper in the Nigerian music scene. Signed to Chocolate City, Wanna, Wanna Music, Candy stands out for her energetic, energetic rap, endogenous style, unique personality, and popular slang, Mafe. Formerly, uh, formerly the frontman of indigenous hip hop group Street Billionaires, she burst out of a solo act following the success of Owo Osu. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Her breakout single featuring Naramali and Zantan with 2 million views on YouTube. Owosu was a street hit across Nigeria, bringing Kanye mainstream attention. The latest single, Wonla, is, Won, Wonla, eh. Wonla. Wonla. <laughs> is her second release of 2020. She was nominated for the Best Female Rap at the African Music Magazine Award. So she's not basically your mates. She's not your mates. Mm. Please welcome with me. Candy Wings. Welcome. What's Mafe? Mafe. Mafe, don't cast it on oh. you know. Oh, Mafe. <laughs> okay. Oh, Mafe. Mafe. Okay. Mafe. <laughs> like, why am I going to go fair now? Good to have you on the show. Yeah, it's it's very nice. Nice. I've, I've admired you for a long time. Mm. I always want to know what, like, what, I, every time I look at you, I think, what does she breathe and eat and who is she hanging around? Because you're so different. So, so, so different. And it doesn't look like you're trying too hard. So it feels very natural watching you just being really different and, and you know occupying your space but well, before we start to get to know you a bit i don't know if you're listening to the conversations and all of that mm. and all of that right yeah i've been listening to uh -huh. yes, okay so I, I want your take on this family matters like is your family that you're born into your number one or like the person that you end up with is your number one well it's my family you know mm. family first which one yeah. now the one that I'm one of my parents to <laughs> ah. your first, Them more first than your spouse. I'm on my family. You now, know. is it okay for me to ask you um, your sexuality? Um, I doubt if it's okay, you know. It's yeah, it doesn't personal. have to be, but I don't know yeah. if it's something you want to talk about. No, 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 no. no. You don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't it. want to. Okay, <laughs> okay. Maybe I have my answer then, since you don't want to talk about you it. You, do, you don't have your answer. Are you sure? I, I'm just so make you me I have my to. answer. If you only want the guest, the lady says she wants to talk about it. She doesn't want to talk about it, no any. Okay, so the reason <laughs> I'm asking that, honestly, is okay. because I want to know why you would say... Um, your, family. your family first. That's why I asked that question. Because if you're talking about your parents and you're not thinking about the person who's going to birth life into the world for you, that is going to make you start your own, you know, generation and your own, you know, immediate spouses. Like what it's kind very of hard to put it together. So, for example, now let's say you go and marry someone, and that person is having issues, and like, like, like. Uh, What's her name? Jemima said your family is actually behaving funny, right? Maybe they're not okay. treating her well okay. or something like that, or treating him or whoever. Um, would you support your fam your partner or your family, your immediate family? If they're not treating my partner well. Yes. Um, you know, Using if my Megan family. Using Megan as an example. So the thing is, I feel if my family is mm. not like treating my partner well, mm. I think I I should be able to sit them down and like talk mm. it out, you know. At the end of the day, they go say to them. At the end of the day, That's they have right. to. Mm. They have to for my sake mm. to make me happy. But so who comes yeah. first? Whose happiness comes first for it you? It has to be my parents. Without them, I won't be here. Oh, you know, your parents are they really love. They must be very proud of the time <laughs> yeah. Oh my dad, a good girl for that. Okay. All right. So let's talk about your music. Yes, I absolutely. notice, um, you know, you you're like the first of its kind. You've had other people, you know, that try to do this, but you've had, you know, some A-listers, you know, doing songs with them and all that. So, um. How did you come about your style? You know, what is that motivation? What is that drive that mm. keeps you going? Don't tell me in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah, uh, but you know, basically, I'm a street girl. Yeah, you know? I know. So I'll still. My <laughs> feet go see and down. Yeah, I see. So, um, I have just one brother. So, mm. um, I kind of like grew up everywhere. My dad, my grandma, mm. my mom, mm. school, friends. Mm. I didn't mm. stay in one place. So, mm. most of the people I'm with are guys. Mm. And also, my dad, when he wants to get clothes for me and my brother, he's going to get the same thing. Oh, you wow. Know, he's a guy. So, if the cloth is getting size, my brother, I have to wear it. <laughs> if my own is too big, it has to. So we like, we do mm, share things. Mm. And while growing up, all my friends are just guys, you know. Mm. When I was in school, made friends. When I, I was just like used to guys and mm. all. So that's the reason why I'm like this. Um, but basically for um, my music, mm. um, I started music when I was in secondary school, you know. I actually want to act or play ball. Mm. Oh, yeah, wow. but, What's going to happen with the football career? I want yo, to be your friend mom. when you start playing football. <laughs> <laughs> my mom didn't want me to play ball. I don't know. There was a time she said my leg is starting to wala. like bend or oh something. And then um, there was a time we went for Pussy Park Club. So I fainted and she was like, oh, wow. well, whether I like it or not, you know they play ball again. But she doesn't say you see they play ball because ball are no <laughs> but does she support your music journey though? Yeah, um, she didn't at first, you know. Mm. So when she didn't want me to do music, she's mm. having different kind of thoughts, you mm. know. Guys, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, what can I do? Okay, I didn't tell her. I decided to get a form. I wrote um, GCE. Mm. I wrote um, the jam. Mm. I gained admission into OOU. Mm. I didn't tell her. I make sure that I also the money to pay for my acetam oh, fee wow. first. Mm. Mm. So after paying for my acetam fee, then I took it to her and oh, mom, I've seen admission, blah blah. blah. She first no believe. Mm -hmm. So she, they were like, we have a neighbor that is a teacher. Mm. So she gave the teacher. Then mm. it was medicine. So she, she, she medicine. Gave the, yeah, medicine. Oh wow. So she gave the teacher the woman. She went to it and she's like, oh mom, you're picking down see admission, no blah blah blah. That was how. I go to school. Then when I got to school, first semester, I was a good student. <laughs> Second semester, I'm like, oh boy, I got to for this school. There was one guy that was trendy, so he's too sweet. Mm. Like, I'm like, no. So that was how I started, like, hustling, hustling, hustling. Then How's was the journey been like so far, though? How did you get yeah. to even Truck City as well? Yeah, so, like, I left school at the time because we couldn't, like, continue paying the school fees, so mm. I left, I went to Yanok Baja mm. to learn video directing. Nice. From there, I went for Lagos Got Talent mm. okay. in 2016. Did you so, win? Yeah, so I won Lagos Got Talent. I went to Ambody House, that was how Madinika introduced me to first Emma. Lane, first lane, first lane levels, you know. Madinika. Ambody House. Ah, you know, you know. I'm very cool. I'm a good one. <laughs> so on. yeah, um, I went to his place, so that was when I met, you know, there were a lot of, you know, they used to do more Lagos Fiesta, mm. so we have a lot of public figures and all there, so that was how I met M.I. Yes, I was there low-key, mm. doing Still your thing. thing, you understand, then 2018, mm. I pushed up with friend, Naira sent me a DM that we should walk. Mm. So I went to meet him at um, Zlantan okay Place. Quick question, are you okay a Malian? Okay oh, I'm a dragon Malian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, you know, speaking of Malians, thinking of, talking about your style as well, there are a lot of people that may say, ah, I've heard that name, but I don't know what sound, I don't know. So let's just give them a snippet of what it is. So there's something I call word play out here. I give you words and you rap with them. So do I give you your about words? Oh, uh, yeah, give me your about Jabo. words. Jabo. <laughs> Oh yeah now, eh, Kilele, you know what do me? Now cop, I want to me you, never want me, want fucking jabo. Sorry. Olu walu ba mi she oni oje kin yobo, I want to ba she be with you, wala e bamba bamba umpe umbo. Eh. Wafe, monkey we, kilo jebe umbo. Okay, okay. Okay, so your sound is obviously very indigenous, mm. very, very, um, and I like that. It's. it's, it's I think we've gotten comfortable with not watering down our sound for anybody. But I want to know what influences your sound. I mean, like, do you have people in the industry that you're like, oh, I like the way this person does this thing, and I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm admiring them or I'm getting inspiration from them. Um, Loki, um, I like you get me. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sis I like left. Sis I see left, the semblance. She left Nigeria. No, she left Lagos. I went. She left from Nigeria. She left Africa. And ran she left to New York. Fam. No, she what? left. She left Chicago. <laughs> I New, went York. To New York. <laughs> I was surprised. I thought you mentioned somebody here. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, so you don't have any musical influences in Nigeria? Um, no, I don't really have, but there are some people I just like their right. vibe, but not that they like. What's your uh, biggest Spanish. competition in Nigeria? Sincerely speaking, sincerely, I haven't like sit down and feel like I have any competitor oh. in terms Bye. of. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> You've murdered everybody, because, yeah? No, it's not because I used to like, you know, sometimes I sit down and I think about it and I look at my brand and I feel like nobody like is like as my kind of brand in this country right now. Mm. I don't know about tomorrow. Mm. But when you hear candy, you are not trying to be like, candy, is there, you know? Mm. Maybe try to call one artist or do you understand? So, in terms of my brand, my, uh, my sound, do I do my thing or no? I just no. do my thing my way. All right, your name, Candy Blicks. You know, when you hear candy, you want to lick sweets. But yeah, when right. they see you, they say, <laughs> ah, oh, oh, sweet, a little, a little cool. That was a child. Yeah. But tell me, how do you come about your name still? Funny enough, I used to be Bless Kido. Blessed no. yeah. Candy yeah, Blicks. That's, that's your name as well. Yeah, Blessed. because yeah. my candy name is Blessing, you know? Yeah. Mm. So then, 2012, we have Whiskey, we have David Doe, so everybody's just coming out with Do, Do, mm. Kid, Kid. So then I'm like, oh, well, what can I do? Bless mm. Kid. Ah, a lot of people have used Kid. Mm. Okay, let me use Bless Kid, do, you know? Mm. But when I got to OOU, I was in the studio, someone was like, what's your name? I said, Bless Kid, do, and those guys were just laughing. Mm. Like, what's up, now? Mm. What? <laughs> well, so, like, he asked of my, the guy asked of my name and my son name. Mm. Then I gave him, that was how we got the Blicks. Then there's this, my cosmate. So his name is Candy. Mm. So the guy's just like, Omo, oh, you cannot use only bleaks. Your mouth too sweet. Add Candy oh, to one. Right. Right. Okay, so now, okay, because it. we're running out of time. Um, people have been watching your interview. I mean, from the minute they see you, if they, for someone like me, as soon as I laid my eyes on you, are connected, right? Mm. So maybe some people have connected with you right now and I've never heard of you before. And from the interview, they've gotten to know you better. Can you just give us a really quick snippet on the work that you have made recently that, we, that they should look out for, where they can find you and support your music? Um, so, um, I'm dropping my next song, Kope. Okay. 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 I should, I should, but you know you should, you are going I should, to I will, I will, it's on the It's been done, guys, it's settled, it's done, yeah, settled, yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you, you heard it here, yeah. <laughs> from the host's so, mouth, yeah, okay. So, Kokbe, I'll be dropping Kokbe on the 19th, and the one with Tenny, mm. I have VP coming out this year, so, like, I'm giving them more of candy, more of time yeah. on this year. Where can we back. find you, though, on social mm. media handles and all of that? On Instagram, at I am Candy Blakes. Mm. Twitter, I am Candy Blakes. Facebook, Candy Blakes. You know. Alrighty. Tell last, me. last, last question. Is there any more features that you are targeting? Like you're eyeing, like okay, this person I really need to work with. Yeah. Um, I have a song with Bella too. Bella Shimona. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, I have a you have nice. lead people though. You've done songs in Aramale, yeah. Tenny, now Bella. Those Alrighty. Guys. Okay. Well, I guess let me just. Let, I think we've said enough. Let me leave you with her music video so you see exactly who she is um this is owo osu owo osu <laughs> take it away please thank you so much friend. okay can it please i am ali marians my friend hey ah the party mari mari pako she wants some wood. Oh, yeah, we let me I bought it not done. Put it not done. I bet me some wood. Bet me some wood. Mama, no beam. Facebook. 
Facebook, Pastor Chris on Salaman. Shorty Bowers, 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 she wants some wood. Oh, yeah, I let know. I bought it not done. Put it not done. I bend it some wood. Bend it some wood. Mama, no good. Put it go, oh, shoot. I saw me, oh, then get there to two. I am a madman. Top, I saw me pay my tail. I don't want no issue. I need to buy my ticket. Get my ticket. To buy my cage. What did they make it? To buy some wood. Me pay in my back. Oh, we're your long boss. I'm a big game. You wanna go, my baby? Oh, fella, beat the good thing. You wanna get that sushi? You got no man, tell you what they're pitting. You wanna go, my baby? Oh, fella, beat the good thing. Oh, long, get that sushi. You got no man, tell you what they're pitting. Shorty Bowers, Shorty Bowers, Shorty Bowers, Shorty Bowers, Shorty Bowers. Stop talking. Are you, are you paying me or what shoot? Money is money, my guy. As long as it's this, you're going with my guy. Driving around in the phone with my guy. Money is coming, be pressure, my guy. I'm out here, yeah. trying to make cash for the family. Fucking bitches in apartment. Pull up in the club with candy. With candy. Oh, she'll go home to the rabbit knee. We're good. She'll go get tea. Don't buy your own, you go home, ready. She wants some wood. Oh, yeah, I let know. I bought it not done. Bought it not done. I bend it some wood. Bend it some wood. Mama, no, be me. Hello and welcome back. This is Sue Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed that interview with the amazing, talented Candy Biggs. And we also have another person. I think we're keeping it gender equal today because another amazing talent, but this happened to be Rick Hassani. Yes, yes. Okay, get some screaming. Let me introduce. Calm down. Yeah, his name is Ike, originally Ikechuku Eric Aizu. <laughs> is a <laughs> Nigerian singer, songwriter, and musician. Um, Hassani was born on 6th of January. I'll just hold his ear so that it can be mystery. In Port Harcourt, and you know when you're big, you're big because this guy is full of nominations and in three categories in 2016, All African Music Awards, um, Best Artist in African R&B and Soul, Video of the Year, the most promising artist, and it goes on and on. He said really sent, so let me just stop. He also received two nominations at the Hades in 2016, including Best Alternative Song for Gentleman, my, one of my favorites. And in December of 2018, the Files on Olympia Associated Believe won Best Collaboration at the Galaxy Music Awards. So he's not brand new to, you know, blows and like hits and all of that. That's, that's how Star Dudes, basically. Here's another song, though, um, Thunder Fire You, that unfortunately we cannot play on TV because we want to be bad belay. But please welcome with me, Rick Hassani. Yeah. Hi. Welcome. Can, can, I, can I just shoot? Can I just shoot? Just your shot. Okay. okay, so bro, I saw a post about you, you know, talking about your six hundred thousand dollars net worth. Mm. And brother came out with a bragging right. And when you walked into the studio, I was blinded by his rings. Are you, <laughs> are you, are you, are you beginning to wear blings? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just I just wear some 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 rings because I'm a prince now. I'm no longer mm. I'm no longer okay. a gentleman. Oh, 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 okay, mm, yeah, take it away. A prince. Yeah, mm. for real. I like that. I like the, the style. I like yeah. the. <laughs> Let's come down. Yeah. I like the <laughs> I like the style, I like Sorry, the sound, I like the I like all of that. There's something very unique about you. Mm. Um and you can tell from even the way you look. I don't know mm. if God knew what he was doing as packaging. Yeah, I, I like you kind of like I, saw the future or whatever. So good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I want to know from you the horse's mouth basically. Yeah. What was it like about your upbringing or what do you think contributed to who you are today? Oh wow, definitely my upbringing. Um I I come from a very academic family. Mm -hmm. um, both my parents were lecturers at the time when I was born, oh, and wow. now they're professors. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. So oh, dude, you know God, God bless his soul. I just lost my dad uh, two, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Oh, I'm sorry Three weeks that. ago. Oh, yeah, yeah so, so I was born into a learning environment. Mm. So I'm, I'm really a student of life in general. I love mm. learning. I love mm. walking into a place and seeing what I can learn and seeing what I can tap mm. from. So that, that has been my approach to my life. 
you know, I learn a lot. Like okay, I walk so into a room, I want to see oh, how's where this going, did the how's music going? now find you in the your learning I have space? No idea. <laughs> yeah, like lecturers. That's not doesn't sound musical to me. Yes, yeah, so. not it's not. That's the funny thing. We've always sang. With like my right. whole family, we've always always sang. And my right. dad used to act. Okay. In his younger so days. There's, there's so. creative juices flowing in there the family. Is. So there when is. did you now decide that okay, I'm not going to be a professor or any other academic thing that probably was an mm -hmm. option for you? When did you decide okay, it's music I'm going to do? It was after my master's degree. Okay. And that was because, the thing with academics is, because I was born into such an academic family, it's, it's normal to me. It doesn't mm. feel like it's a challenge. Right. You know, the, it, it just, I needed something that made me feel alive, and that was music for me. You know, mm. Academics, is, it was too normal. What All was right, your so. academics in, sorry? Mm -hmm. What was your academics in? What was your master's in, for example? Um, when was it? What was it in? Oh, economics. Ah. Serious matter. Yeah. All right, so um, um, can I ask you, um, your parents, the professors, oh, sorry, um, your late dad was a professor as yeah. well. Um, what university? Oh, um, University of Science and Technology, Port Harcourt. All right, but yeah. you went yeah. to yeah. Covenant. I went to Covenant, yes. Is that reason why they did not trust the Nigerian educational ah. system and they took you to a <laughs> private kind of university? Um, <laughs> yes, no, I don't it's know. Just, honestly, it's just honesty. honestly, I had no idea. I wanted to go to Futu, actually. That was mm. my dream. But my dad said eh, Covenant. So now there it ends. I don't know what his reason was. <laughs> and we can't ask him now. Exactly. So. Okay, exactly. Okay. So, sorry. Yeah, Another cool. thing, um, The Prince I Became mm. is one of my favorite albums mm. right now. Really? Yeah, people don't look at me like I'm that soft guy. <laughs> eh? But early in the morning, trust me, I listen to Rika. I, mean, I love everything. Oh, I love... Okay. See, thunder fire you. I don't see anybody it's that wants to like you know go better for you. <laughs> with the with the Adley bomb. We don't play. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a solid album. Now what what influences your music? Because it's not the regular Nigerian R and B. I don't know. I don't know. I um I don't know how my songs sound the way it sounds. It's just um I don't know. I just make it like I, I I can't explain it. I'm telling you, I, I really can't. Like it just I just want to want to write, and it just comes out like that. Mm. Yeah. Because it seems unique to me. It's, yeah. And uh, you know, when you listen, I, I took a gap with listening to you. I remember mm. when you first first came out, you were like the best thing after fried rice. Even <laughs> just looking at you and stuff. Yeah, very mm. edible. The sound sound was ah, was just everybody's bodies like yes. Mm -hmm. So I, I did that, and then I don't know if you went silent or I just stopped listening, but I yeah. didn't listen again until um turn the fire you and your new songs yeah. now yeah. and. You, it's very clear. Maybe you don't know this. I don't know because you seem to not know how your magic is just flowing. <laughs> but um, it seems very intentional that you wanted to evolve. Like yeah. you could have kept the same vibe. Oh, like yeah. um, people do oh, keep yeah. the same vibe, and that's successful. It's not a problem. Mm -hmm. But you were very intentional, even with the way like you sang and the whole song that fire. Think for example, very unique um, play mm. with words and oh, lingo yeah. and dragon mm. and all of that. So was that your? Was that deliberate? Like I want to give these people something very different or it just happened oh yes oh yes um first of all i've grown i've mm. genuinely grown you know I, it, it's you know if, if somebody grows you, you see it now. yeah you, the person is not trying to show you that oh i'm taller now or you can see that the person is taller you know but still like there had to be intentionality there had to be like i i, I wanted people to see how much i'd grown i didn't want to sound like we had so many songs on the album that sounded like when, when we were making the album we had so many songs that sounded like my old songs and like mm. we took them off the album all right. Like 12 of them took them off the mm. album, you know, because we wanted to make it so new and so fresh. All right. So, um, you know, when disciplinary measures are put in place, it's supposed to make you learn. When you go to jail, you're supposed to be reformed, mm -hmm. rehabilitated. Mm -hmm. When you go to the rehab, you're supposed to not be a drug addict mm -hmm. or get rid of your depression. But when the NBC banned your song, was that a message that was communicated to you or you just felt, no, this is not a working system for mm. creatives? Honestly, I didn't see that. I mean, it's, in, it's just one of those things. Like, the NBC ban it. You know, it's, um, but did you well, get why, any message? You, yeah, was well, there a personal message? Like, why do you think they banned that song? Apart from the words, the lyrics, was there a reason why you think they banned it? Was there a message they were passing across to young artists or stuff like really? that? Really? I, I, I don't know. I've, honestly, I've not thought about it this much. Mm. Honestly, I'm telling you, man. Um, Can we think about it together? Oh, okay. I, but I, but I think, I think I, honestly, I think what they're trying to say is, and I and I, I kind of get where they're coming from. Mm. They're saying thunder fire you the phrase is just is just too strong a phrase mm. a, a phrase to put on radio or to put on you know, I don't know. And I and I and I and I understand it, you know. But the thing is they're coming at it from 
just the wrong angle, man. Like they're looking at it from it like a, a, a bad, dark. Mm. It's just it's a clever song. It is a very clever song. Everybody says Thunder Fire you from you know you <laughs> yes. can, somebody I, has I, said I, it I like to you the today. Fact. Okay, right? okay, okay, okay. Before we like the facts, you have <laughs> <laughs> you have disrupted my show, okay. and your fans are disturbing me. Left, okay. right, and center, just in my ears, screaming in my ears, saying, Rick, oh my gosh, I'm about to face this. Ah! So, okay, they didn't say that exactly, <laughs> but they did. <laughs> um, so, we are going, this is very new for us because we don't have that many people that, okay. you know, can't wait till social media. So, they okay. won't talk to you fresh from the pot. Oh, really? Um, so, if you can please connect us to our lovely listener that wants to talk to our guest, that would be nice. Hello. Hello. Hi, welcome to Tea Time. Good morning. Good morning. Um, okay, so please feel free. Rikasani is here at your service. Yeah, I'll be following him on um, Twitter for the past uh, last week. Okay. How far So I, I, open, I open an account for him. He followed the account. Okay. <laughs> so I'll be, okay, I'll be I love this. I love this. Man. Yeah, I, love, I love you more. Oh. Man, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah, Thank please you so much. Keep, up, keep up the good work. Thank you. We shall hold him accountable. Keep Thank giving you. us the good sign. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for that call. That, that was, was so awesome. Real. That was yeah. Real. Like, yeah. That, yeah, he really so likes so it. Thank you so much. Please, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, please keep the calls coming in if you yes, if you can definitely. have him on. Yeah, the show. but I mean, like honestly, the NBC thing, I didn't think much, too too much about it. Mm. Honestly, it's just it's a clever song. But you reacted to it on Twitter. A so. lot, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a I like lot, that. No, what did I? No, mm. you, you're not calling some people hypocrites, saying um, of course you're biased, of course you're this, of course you're that. Man, I don't know, man. Me, I like I that new Asan is actually. Was it? Someone you're talking and having. Eh, no, uh, like, no. <laughs> there's a no, protest, that's the thing, please. That's, that's the thing because, like, I, I, I felt like in the past. I mean, being, the, being a gentleman, my persona was mm. very meek and humble, mm. and Absolutely. it was. So they were trying meek to sample on that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, mm. the, like mm. you're like, I really don't do this. You know, like, don't, don't, don't sleep try me. that. Like, mm. So this year, you have you, everybody has to stop. You know what I mean? Like, I really do this. And honestly speaking, I think I like that as well because you know, remember I said the first time we watched you, it was was about this like mischievous like oh i want to eat yeah. this guy it's fried rice yeah. um but you know now yeah, with this, i'm telling you confession. I'm, 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 change this, your confession <laughs> time. but you know this new person that's engaging with fans like yeah. i can tell your personality and you're posting more pictures yeah. and i'm not perfect like you know side mm -hmm. angle portrait yeah, yeah, like just yeah. really raw stuff oh, like yeah. your family and all of that so i really like that um is there something else that we should be looking out for though i know thunder fire you still mm -hmm. simmering and all of that mm -hmm, yeah. but is there any more music are we also the looking at oh, yeah, uh, collaborations too. as well oh, yeah. Oh, are yeah. you into um, collaborations do you like that stuff because oh yeah oh yeah i do mm -hmm. now i have a lot of collaborations. i mean on my album there's salty soul there's yes, nikki there jam there's yeah. Edwards, yes. there's, uh, yeah um I don't know if I should say this now, but I'm actually putting out a deluxe album. Same. 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 Okay, all right. So I'm putting right. out a deluxe version of, mm. of The Prince I Became album with extra 11 tracks, brand new tracks. Um, Peruzzi, Ricardo Banks, Woo! Yeah, YJ, um, DBYZ. Our girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scam this uh, wait, wait, wait. I was even going to oh ask that God, question. I have shut myself. Yeah, you did like, right, so you took the guy. Let's get to YJ, right? Yeah. Okay, wait, before you go on. Oh, sorry. YJ is, I think your good is, is working. We have another guest that wants to interrupt your first question. Okay. So, um, hello, guest. I mean, hello, caller. Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Tea Time. Your favorite is around. This sounds like my HR. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Your favorite is on the table. Please feel free. We can hear you. Yeah, I'll speak to Rick, Rick Asani. Hey, how far now? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's, okay, what's your name now? What's your name? I'm your biggest fan. Oh, thank you so I much. Your, your music, I love everything about you. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh. I appreciate it. I'm, thank you. I'm so happy to hear your voice. Oh God, I, I wish I could just see you like see oh. you right now. I, I really love you. Oh yeah, I love you too. Thank you, thank you, man. I appreciate, I appreciate uh, you. Thank you, you so much. Be watching this time. I know love you. Hey. <laughs> I'm, I, this makes me very happy, man. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Thank you, Cola, for that scream and a lot of love. Even myself, <laughs> I felt it. I mean, I felt I it. Oh, my God. 
I think my next question I'll start. Oh my God! I will be next. Can you tell us about what Jay? <laughs> what's, oh my God. what's the biggest publicity stunt you've had to pull? Because we now we know. Now we know that that was a publicity stunt for oh, but everything the, video. Why do you feel it was a publicity stunt? Obviously, it was for the um, best thing video. What Jay was okay, on the show was actually. That? That, was, that, that was what Jay's video. Uh, yes, yeah, so it was a publicity <laughs> stunt for. What J? Now I'm asking personally. Now I'm that's what. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You know, a little bird also told us that you people are entangled. <laughs> that there's an entanglement, entanglement. somewhere. Oh, yeah. but we don't. There need to be three people in the entanglements. This mm. one, they are just twisting around each other. Okay, so it's not entangled. Yeah, yeah. Still mm. a, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah, still a, yeah. So tell us, is there an entanglement? I don't know. Tell us now. I can't say anything. He's the prince you became, or the uh, prince has to speak. I know, a prince, sometimes royalty doesn't speak. Okay, okay. 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 tell them to marry. Yeah. 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 There is so a lovely not... fan waiting to talk to the royalty. Mm -hmm. Hello, she can fan. Hey! I'll find out. <laughs> Hello, we're with you. Are you still Yo. there? Yo. How far Can we come back? Yes, I, can hear you. I can hear you, bro. How far now? I'm I'm I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? You can hear me now. I was listening to the song. I you You don't feel I'm... You know me before you talk about... Oh, my, oh my, your network bad. Yes, yes. unfortunately, we I can't really hear you. He said, what's it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so... Please All try right. and call us back so we, he can get your information. But yeah, let's go on. All right, so, um, you know, let's talk about um, the music for you now. Mm. What does it mean to you? What does music really mean to you? Because Honestly, like I say this all the time, like the mere fact that I can just create music, it's, mm. I'm satisfied. I'm telling yeah. you, everything else is extra. Yeah. I'm, I, I really mean that. But like, how, the how, fact how, that I can just think of an idea yeah. and sing it and it comes out mad, mind blown. Mm. Like all the money or all the, like all those things are extra. You know what I mean? Okay, Honestly. but it, uh, would you say that you are a musician? Do you know why I'm, I asked this question? I'm not a musician. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm Rick Hassani. Oh, oh wow. Nah, I'm not a musician. Mm. No. You know why I asked that? You don't mm. do very well with showbiz or like... Mm -hmm. um, you seem like somebody who is just participating in a hobby that happened to blow. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, like you're not taking it like too... Like it wasn't... Really? Like, yeah, you're not, yeah, so like, really? Like you just sing and the song just blows and you're like, oh yeah, wow. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like you don't have to do too much. Honestly, you are wow. just... Wow. No, don't you yeah. feel that way? Wait, when, when your success comes. Incredible. Yo, we work like crazy. The wow. work is... In, my manager is here, he can't even believe it. Like, honestly, the work is, is out of control. It's, mm. it's out of control. It's, it's, not, it's not easy at all. Mm. <laughs> it's not easy at all. Speaking so of do you focus work. on that music or you have something else that you're doing that's not music? Music, 100%. Oh, wow. For now, but I, I have uh, my fashion line that's coming out. Of and course you do. Yeah, I have my furniture company that I've been working on for a mm. while. So. But yeah, for, for now, music. But you skipped my question on the biggest publicity stunt you've had to pull for yourself to I've, blow I've never, I've never done any Would you ever do that? Would there be a reason why you put I out will. something that is not real? You know, I, you know I don't real. think I will because I'm just too honest a guy. Like, I don't like, you know, <laughs> no honesty. But, and I'm not saying this to, you know, it's just, honesty is easier. It's easier. Mm. You know, why, why would I want to stress myself by um, just, just uh, lying and then I have to keep up with the lie every time? Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's easier to be honest. Yeah. It's easier to just come here and be how I am. You know what I mean? Sure. Okay, so your, 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 your interaction with music and fame and all of that, mm -hmm. has that affected you in any way? Not really, no. Not really, no. The, the thing about fame is, and the way I see it is just, we in this position, we are here to give to people, right? I'm here to give people my voice, mm. give people, mm. make people feel some type of way, sure. give people help, give, make people feel some, some type of way when they listen to my songs or something like that. So I'm here to give to people. So the wow. more popular I get or the more fame I get, it just means that there are more people that I'm giving this thing mm. to. That's just the way I see it. I mean, it's like, right. it's like, it's like asking Jesus how he was dealing with the fame. No, like he came to, no, his comparisons are royalties, <laughs> no, but it's godly true. people. It's yeah. true. Like, what, what, but Jesus was very famous. Mm. You know what I mean? Like he walked into a place everybody's clamoring at it. Mm. He, he knew what he came to do. He mm. came to give to people. So, of course, people will come towards sure. him. Mm. You know? So, that's the same way I see myself as I well. I mean, you did um, mention that you sang with um, 
Edward. It was a Christian Frank Edwards, yeah. Frank Edwards. Oh, yeah. So, like, would you also say that you dip your feet into the gospel scene as well? First of all, I've always wanted to have a gospel song. It's mm. been a dream of mine to walk into a church and the choir is singing a song that I wrote. You know, so I've been trying to have, like, a gospel song for the longest time. It didn't happen with the first album, so I was like, ah, this is not what it must happen. Mm. You know, so I made that song. But, yeah, that aside, I'm very spiritual. I'm mm. intensely spiritual, you know. Okay. I, mean? I like right, spiritual. so I'm not going to question. ask you, um, you know, how you deal with them female fans because that I know there are <laughs> lots <laughs> and I know that's really? a problem. Really? I know that's a problem on its own. <laughs> and I remember some interview I saw recently about some guy asking you about your sexuality. I said, this one, <laughs> even, even if he no one's straight, yeah, he must straight. Yeah. But, but that's on the side though. <laughs> but, but that's on the side. <laughs> Um, now, Thunder Fire You, a lot of people find it personal. Now, when I'm singing that song, I get some beeps where they see for my mind. Do you understand? Yeah. Was it personal for you? Was that song personal? No, it was inspired from personal, personal experience. Oh, so tell for us real. about that experience real quick. Right? It, it was, was, it was, it was a new experience. Now, that, the, the, the gist of the experience is in the song. <laughs> so you get beep, what do you like that? Just, yes, not, not really, just an imbecile. Oh! I think that's how we, yeah, it's okay, we can leave it at that. <laughs> please, 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 pull your traffic. In case they, yes. like, with Kasani, is still new, it's on people's <laughs> TVs right now. They've enjoyed this conversation, they like your style, they've heard of all the things that you've done, yeah. and they want to, you know, connect with that. Where can they go to, where can they find your music, all of oh, that? Oh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at Rick Hassani, that's at R-I-C-H-A-W-S-A-N-I, or just go to my website to get everything about me that you need. It's www.rickhassani.com, R-I-C-H-A-W-S-A-N-I. Finito. And that is a wrap for today, guys. Thank you so much. If you started from the show, started with, with the show with us, and you're here now, you are the real OG. And, and don't baby. forget that you can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Please don't forget that you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one, and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. For all the guys who called in today, shout out to you people as well. I didn't get your names, but thank you for joining in as well. You can also watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. So yes, we have visa. We travel outside. A big thank you goes out to my beautiful guest, Rick Hassani, yes. and also um, Candy Blix, who was here earlier. And of course, my co-anchor, if you beautiful co are you okay? My beautiful, <laughs> handsome, delicious, scrumptious, <laughs> nice, fantastic, um, edible, um, co-anchor, Ivan Luashike, for keeping it absolutely jiggy with me today. And of course, the entire production team, thank you for putting all of this together. My name is Ifilmai, your favorite. Uh, this is Royalty Rikasani.
engagement we need to have. Those who suffer miscarriages are never taken into account. Members of the National Assembly are also influenced by the last. You are sitting on Nigeria's money. From the barbering, I pay my land. From the barbering, I send my, my children to school. A consultative engagement. No any tangible notification before they ban us. It's one thing for people to be at your back and the heat of the moment. And then that's for them to still be able to be when push comes to show. I will do everything to take labor out of the national grid. I work in communications at the International Committee of the Red Cross in Kenya. I'm a Kenyan and I love Kenya.
One of the reasons why I love Kenya is because of the weather. Look, I'm an outdoor person and the weather here allows me to be myself. It allows me to have fun because it doesn't get too hot, it doesn't get too cold. So throughout the year, there's always something to do for me. And the other thing that I really love about Kenya is the landscapes. I mean, just look at this. Quite beautiful. This is a town called Magadi, three hours from Nairobi, famously known for bird watching, production of souls, and for people who love the outdoors like myself, this is a great spot uh, for landscape and nature photography. I love spending time with people. We are in Lamu. Lamu is a coastal town in Kenya, very beautiful place, a world heritage town famously known for its rich cultural and built heritage. But despite this beauty and heritage, some areas in Lamu have been experiencing insecurity over the years. For example, back in 2014, there is a town that was attacked leaving many widows behind with their children. Now, working with our main partners in Kenya, the Kenya Red Cross, we assisted some of these women to start small businesses in order for them to sustain their families. But not just the widows, we are also working with fishing communities to boost their income by providing them with boat engines, cooler boxes, nets, and other equipment to upscale their businesses and better support their families. We've also supported some youth to undertake professional certification at a marine college and this increases their chance of getting jobs in the marine industry. Kenya is a key humanitarian and diplomatic hub that hosts different international organizations and institutions. Through various platforms, we engage these institutions to explain and advance our positions on different humanitarian issues and raise awareness of humanitarian needs of the communities that we serve. For many years, Kenya has hosted refugees from neighboring countries. And again, working with the Kenya Red Cross, we support the tracing and reunification of separated families in these camps. Our work um, here in Nairobi also has a lot of global significance for ICRC's operations. For example, the logistics support center that is based in Nairobi is the second largest uh, logistics support center in the whole of ICRC's global logistic network. And this logistics support center plays a very key role in the delivery of humanitarian aid and other uh, supplies and equipment in the region. At the end of the day for me, working with the ICRC among an amazing network of people, reaching out to others at their time of need is a great, great privilege that gives me most joy and purpose in the course of my work. We can't talk about education reform if we don't decolonize our education system. What we do not understand, we will stigmatize. Because it's just cultural. It's, and I think it's just human nature. They stop paying our salary. I don't like remembering it. I am angry at Nigeria. I'm angry at this government which seems to be letting us down. I'm angry at us as a people. In the process of struggling to free myself from his hand, he tore my pants and jumped um, away me. Yes, I commit the first truly. Young girl, do you know where you are going? I say, I'm going to America. I say, oh, now so that they talk, you are going to Libya. You to America. As it then to mark our place, some people will die now. This is PLOS TV Africa. Big stories live here.
We're at the pyramids of Meroe, the graves of the kings and of the queens of Meroe in northern Sudan along the river Nile. An empire which stretched from here in Sudan all the way to Jerusalem, to the southern Lebanon, where the 25th dynasty of the pharaohs was contesting the world with the Assyrians. So we're in a very, very historic place, in a very symbolic place as well for this ancient civilization of Sudan. What's not obvious is the diversity of the people, first of all, but also the diversity of the landscapes from a basically tropical, uh, full of water south to a desert, this is one thing. The other thing is also the depth of history. It's easy to hear that, yes, there are more pyramids in Sudan than in Egypt, but you really have to ask people and to read up in order to understand, if you're not a specialist of this history, in order to understand what this actually represents here. And it's not just the place we are here now at simply one of the great civilizations of this world, which has conquered and defended and conquered again and lost and conquered again big swaths of the antique world and who has measured itself against the other big civilizations at the time. And somehow, there is no way this cannot have an impact until today. And I think that's part of it. what you feel simply if you walk around but you need to dig a little bit, or to travel a little bit to places where hardly ever anybody comes to, like the one we are here. The heart of an ancient super kingdom. In Sudan you can walk in Khartoum at night, you can sit down anywhere, drink coffee or a tea, and nobody will bother. Not because they ignore you or they disrespect you, but they don't bother you. You're just, you're just part of being there, and that's fine for everybody. It's this incredibly generous, open-hearted atmosphere of, of people who are just, just incredibly nice. I have not seen that anywhere else. Uh, and it's something I personally have the impression nobody knows who has not been to Sudan. You really have to be here to understand what, what, what it means to encounter people who are so at ease with themselves and that they can be so generous with everybody else. It's fascinating, it's absolutely fascinating.